Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It been so long that I didn't post, I was busy finishing clients work, now I am back to weekly tutorials. So, today I will show you how to make a line art crest logo, I choose the camping theme just as an example. Make sure to watch to the end of the video, and don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ask me anything in the comment section. Have a nice watching. Okay, this will be our logo. I will design various camping elements, and then I will put it together to make the crest. First, select the polygon tool, then click on the canvas. Change the sides number to 3 and press OK. Now we get a triangle, increase the stroke size to 3. Then go to stroke panel, and click on align stroke to center. Make the triangle smaller. Then hold alt and drag to right to duplicate it and then hold shift and stretch to make it bigger. With the pen tool. Make a broken line from top to the bottom of the triangle. Now, with the pen tool make a straight line from left to right like this. Then hold Alt and drag it down to duplicate it, then repeat pressing Ctrl D to repeat the process automatically. Now adjust the lines from the sides to fit between the outline of the mountain shape and the middle line. Do the same thing to the other triangle. Select everything, then press Ctrl G to group it. OK, with the pen tool make a straight line aligned with the bottom of the triangles. Select everything, then go to the Align panel, and click on Align Center. Now to make a tree, make a straight line. And then with the polygon tool make a rectangle. Reduce its size and place it here. Then hold out and drag it up, then make it a little bit smaller. Then repeat the same process to complete the tree. Select the tree then hold out and drag it to the other side. Now, make a little circle. Then select the star tool, click on the canvas, and change the points to 4 then press OK. Make the star smaller. Then select the star and the circle together, and from the stroke panel, Click on Align the stroke to outline. Now drag the live widgets to make the star a little bit rounded. Reduce the size a little, and then place some stars and circles here and there, to make a cool effect. I think the angles of the broken line need to be aligned with the lines. 
you can adjust it with the direct selection tool. OK, everything is good. I'll write the World Mountains just to use it as a logo name. I used a light font to keep all the element in a single weight. I'll make the name a little bit bigger. Then I reduce the mountain elements a little. Now, I'll try to make a line artwood icon. So, make a horizontal rectangle, like this one. And then hold shift and make a circle in the same height. Then drag it here, and then hold out and drag it to the other side of the rectangle. Select the circle with the rectangle, and from the Pathfinder, press Unite. Right click on the first circle, and then go to Arrange, and click on Bring to Front. Now, draw a line here to give it a bit of texture. Make a little rectangle here, then with the Direct Selection tool. Move this point to the left. Select the little rectangle with the wood shape, and from the Pathfinder, press Unite. Right click on the shape, then send it to back. Let's add a little circle here. Select the shape and rotate it like this. Press Ctrl C to copy it, and then Ctrl F to paste it in front. Then go to Object, Transform, click on Reflect, with the vertical option selected, press OK. Move it a bit to the right. Then with the Delete Anchor Points tool, delete this points, to make a little difference in the two shapes. I'll make this one in the back. Now select all the wood elements and press Ctrl G to group it. Select everything, and align it to center. Now I need to make a single line flame icon to place it above the wood. With the brush tool, slowly draw a flame. It is easy I am even using a mouse doing it. You can draw on top of a reference image to get it right. Place it above the wood icon, then make it smaller. Select the flame icon, then change the brush definition to basic, and increase the stroke size to 3. Always try to make all the elements optically balanced. Now, I will make an axe icon, so, make a rectangle like this one. Then with the direct selection tool. Move this point up and this one down equally. Then make a big circle and intersect it this way with the rectangle. And align it to the center. Select the two shapes, and with the shape builder, hold out and click on the external part to take it off. Now remove the rest of the circle. Now add a little rectangle to the right side. 
Then select the two shapes, and from the Pathfinder, click on Unite. Now make a thin vertical rectangle here. And then right click and send it to back, and fill this with white. Add two circles here for more details. Make the axe smaller and place it here. Then rotate it this way. I think it's better to keep it simple and take off the circles. Adjust the rotation to perfectly fill the space, then hold Alt and drag it to the other side. Go to Object, and then Transform, and click on Reflect, then press OK. Move it a bit to the right, then group it with the other axe icon by selecting all the elements and pressing Ctrl G. Now select the flame and wood icon with the axes and align it to center. Always try to align it optically. I think those need to be smaller. With the ellipse tool, hold Alt and Shift and make a circle from the center like this. Make it centered. And select the type on a path tool, and click on the circle. And type what you want. I will type let's go camping. With the direct selection tool, drag this line to flip the direction of the text. Select the text. And increase its size. And rotate it to make it centered. I'll move this element a little up. Then select the text circle and make it bigger. Increase the tracking of the text. And center it. And finally I'll change the font weight to semi bold so it will look in the same way to the rest of the elements. Try to adjust the placement of all the elements to make it well balanced and that's it. Thank you for your attention, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next tutorials, because I'm planning to make December the most requested tutorials month. See you in the next video.